cream. Chloe suddenly exclaimed, bought herself a treat. That girl next door really bought Chloe ice cream. Chloe happily ran to unlock the door, preparing to take the ice cream. Then her father pulled her back inside the house. After closing the door, Chloe's father asked seriously, have you ever escaped to play? Chloe shook her head in fear. Because of this, Chloe was punished. Her father locked her in a dark room. Early the next morning, her father opened the door and said, as long as Chloe obediently stays at home, her father will buy ice cream for her. Chloe was in the waiting room, suddenly the door opened. Chloe's dad has a gun in one hand. One hand pushing the cart. Whole body is blood. He went to the room to bandage the wound. Chloe happily rummaged through the stroller. But no ice cream. I think my dad lied to me. Chloe is extremely angry. Immediately open the safe. Take a bill to go out to buy ice cream. This is Chloe's first time out of the house. Everything around makes her curious. Chloe finally went to the ice cream van. The old man selling ice cream is extremely kind. I want to invite Chloe to the car to try all the ice cream. Without thinking, Chloe climbed into the car. The old man took the little girl to the park. Chloe is very happy. But the old man is pushing harder and harder. Scared the little girl to scream to get everyone's attention. Seeing that, the old man seemed disappointed. He thinks that it's because Chloe's father raised her not well. Now the police come. He asked the old man to stay away from the girl. The old man said to Chloe. He's trying to kill us like he killed your mother. He repeatedly instigated Chloe to attack the policeman. Chloe could only scream at the policeman to leave. Unexpectedly, in the blink of an eye, the policeman's expression changed. Take the gun back. Then slowly let go. The old man recognized Chloe's special ability. Happy to take Chloe home. On the way back he told Chloe about his true identity. He is Chloe's grandfather. Turns out people with special powers. Hiding somewhere in this society. Because they. Is being sought by the government. Chloe's mother was also arrested because of that. And Chloe's dad thinks his wife is dead. Because he wanted to protect Chloe, he hid everything from her. Grandpa still believes that Chloe's mother is still alive. He wants to bring Chloe to save her mother. He gave Chloe a bag of sleeping pills. Tell her when you hear the ice cream truck. Then mix it in water and give it to her father to drink. After he fell asleep, he hid out. Chloe immediately followed. The next day, the girl put sleeping pills in the water and brought it to her father. But because I'm young. This trick was discovered by Chloe's father. No it was revealed. The girl ran away. Chloe's father is angry with a sleeping pill bag. Ask the girl why she did it. Chloe didn't say anything. Just shout out loud. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Chloe's father suddenly lies on the ground. Get a good night's sleep without drugs. Chloe quickly grabbed the money and ran outside. Chloe's grandpa just arrived. He quickly wiped the blood on his grandson's face. It will appear after using superpower. The police use that to distinguish them from ordinary people. To arrest them. Now. He took Chloe to rescue her mother. The two of them went to a restaurant. He told Chloe not to talk nonsense. Because of this woman. Is a police officer who specializes in recruiting children with superpowers. Train them to use for other purposes. You're going to let Chloe infiltrate the organization. To find a chance to save her mother. He pretends to be a pastor. And Chloe is the child he adopted since childhood. The female police officer picked up the lamp and swept it one by one. As expected, blood stains were found on Chloe's face. But this is only the first stage. She asked Chloe for some personal information. However, Chloe is like a machine. Deliberately talking about my very pitiful identity. Why a seven-year-old baby can do this again? That's because Chloe's father trains her every day. Knowing that the police consider people like her to be monsters. Chloe immediately ran into the kitchen. She hates being called like that. Grandpa ran after the little girl. Angry because she disobeyed. In the kitchen right now. A chef heard the story. Between the two of them. Her grandfather immediately stabbed him in the eye with a pen. He walked out with his eyes bleeding. The police, because they suspect he has superpowers, quickly knock him down. While in the kitchen. Chloe's grandfather came to hug her. In the blink of an eye the two disappeared. Turns out her grandfather also has superpowers. And this is his power. Now Grandpa Chloe, constantly scolding the little girl for not doing what he said. Make the little girl scream. Take me home. It was like he was ordered by someone. Turn the car around and take the little girl home. Suddenly her father appeared. Don't say no. Towards the old man. Then the two of you also have a car. Disappeared in the blink of an eye. It wasn't long before her father returned. Take Chloe home. But Chloe used her powers to force him to release her. Then run away. At this moment, a car suddenly sped up. Chloe's father quickly hugged her. The car now seems to be frozen. This is his superpower. You can. Freeze time. 
He hid the girl, for the past seven years. But now everything. I couldn't keep it a secret anymore. Chloe is beyond the ability to command people. She can even make the people she wants to meet appear by her side. Thanks to it, Chloe met her mother. But then she was taken away by someone. See this scene. The little girl panicked and told her father. But Chloe's dad doesn't believe it. Not only that, but also locked her in the room. But now Chloe screams. She will kill him if he does. Just finished talking. The drill in Chloe's father's hand. Towards him. Too scared. He begged Chloe to stop. Hastily opened the door. After overusing the power. Little girl fainted. When I wake up. Saw him and his father arguing. Finally after seven years. Chloe's father just found out that his wife is still alive. But now Chloe found out that the neighbors reported it to the police. She immediately informed him and her father. It's the police coming to their house. In the room they appear now. The conversation between the two of them. Chloe makes the police follow her actions. Holding a pen to poke the neighbor's eye. Not only that, it also made the policeman pick up a gun and shoot himself in the head. Fortunately, Chloe's father was able to stop her. Not long after, the police car arrived. See the woman's face covered in blood. They think she's someone with superpowers. Immediately shot her down. Scared Chloe. Run to my room. Now she sees her mother. Tied on a hospital bed. Chloe's dad can't believe his eyes right now. See this scene. Because I want to save my wife. He pulled out a gun and shot the doctor. But it doesn't change anything. Helplessly watching the doctor prepare to inject something for his wife. Chloe used her superpower to stop the doctor. Make him inject himself. Not only that, he also controls the bodyguard. Untied my mother. But now the doorbell rings. Chloe's dad came downstairs. See who that person is. So it's the police. Although disguised. But he was still discovered by her. Chloe's grandfather now hides and steals a gun. But the policewoman is not a dreamer. In the blink of an eye, he took the gun back and wounded Chloe's father. She went upstairs to finish her off. But the bullet stopped in front of Chloe. An area of red blood appears. So, grandpa took the bullet for the girl. Chloe is angry. The girl who made the policewoman take her own life. Hearing gunshots, the police outside prepare to attack. Chloe's father suppresses pain, uses his superpower. Immobilize them. Chloe's mother is also trying to escape right now. Her father, after going out, gave each of them a copper candy. After going back inside, the time is back to normal. Kill a few guys at the same time. Too scared. They even use bombers. To blow everything away. Chloe used her full power. Help her mother open the last door. Successful escape. Chloe fainted after using her powers too much. Missiles are almost there now. Chloe's dad used what little strength he had left. To protect the girl. When Chloe wakes up. Everything is over. But her father was seriously injured. So don't make it. Even if Chloe ordered him, it would be useless. In the ruins, Chloe's mother now appears. Two people start a new life together. From now on they will live the life they want. Because they realize one thing. Everything has its solution. Chloe's eyes are full of hatred. Innocent girl. But this world doesn't give her a chance. 